Today we're going to talk about the simple flies and techniques used to catch stocking fish. Stocking season is just fired up and the trout are, you know, a little bit everywhere right now. So if you're just getting into fly fishing or just want to simplify what you're doing, use these tactics and they will work 99% of the time. And if they don't work, it's you, not the flies. So the first rig we're going to use in shallower water, just on a dry dropper, for the dry fly, I like using these heavily buoyant hopper patterns. These little hopper patterns will sit high on the water. You can fish them all day. You don't have to worry about them sinking. And they're not going to have the splash on the water that might spook a hesitant uh, stockfish. And they're also going to uh, get your fly down a little bit quicker because they can drop in the water. What we want to rig with them are the lighter flies. I typically am not wanting to throw the bigger stuff with these guys. Uh, my go-to for all of North Georgia and pretty much anywhere in the world is this pink squirmy worm. This little worm will get down quick if it's weighted properly. If, if it doesn't have a weight on it, throw a little bit of split shot on it, get it down to the bottom as quickly as possible. You're going to have a hard time getting refusals from wild fish or stocked fish. Uh, it's got a lot of pulling power, so it'll, it'll pull fish, you know, five or six feet from where they're sitting to eat it versus, you know, when you're throwing one of those tiny flies, you know, they're probably only going to move a foot or two when they're eating it. So after this squirmy worm, the next one I like are these egg patterns. There's a million out there. Again, I like the weighted ones. Get it down in the bottom. If you buy a lot of generic ones from a fly shop, they'll come unweighted and they're going to float really high at first. They take a while to sink. So you're either going to have to use a longer leader with those floating ones or go with the short leader and put a little split shot on it. But um, I'll throw a really big one and I'll throw a really small one. For a little bit more pressured fish, I typically go a little bit smaller. If these are fresh stocked fish and they've never seen a fly before, this big bulky sucker is going to get the commits 95% of the time. The other rig I like to do, and this is typically in deeper water, is with these little indicator rigs. These are screw locks. Unscrew them here, throw, them, throw the line right in between this little crevice here, and zip it back up. And you can slide that up and down your line. As you change water depths, you know, this is going to go up and down to make up for it. The flies I really like throwing with the indicator rigs are these mops. I really put a lot of weight, whether it be in the head or I'll throw some split shot on them. These I want to get down. They are very buoyant in nature. All this, this mop material will hold a lot of water and air and it'll sink, end up sinking really slowly. I want these things hitting the water, boom, right down to the bottom. So I, I, I if you tie them yourself, weight them pretty well. If not, you know, you can, use uh, some split shot or just lengthen that leader a little bit more. But these were fishing in deeper water most of the time um, with the indicator rig. In deeper water, this indicator rig isn't gonna be as forceful. When it hits the surface, fish down in three feet or more aren't gonna care. Whereas, you know, if you're fishing two feet or less, this thing plops down, you know, and they've been caught before, pressure before, probably gonna run. Overall, these mop jigs are gonna catch fish anywhere in the world, especially stalkers find them irresistible. Don't know what they're supposed to be. Best guess is maybe a caddis larva. Chances are it's just garbage they think looks like a juicy meal. Next time you're out in North Georgia, try these tricks. Keep it simple. If you can't catch them off these few baits, like I said, it's time to start working on your technique, not time to switch lures. So just something simple. Bring one, one box with you and hone it in with that. Have a good one. Good luck.